So Josh and I met kind of accidentally through my best friend's work. He had this knack for bringing out the best in people. He always listened more than he talked. He was telling me about this girl that he met. They were amazing together. Their love certainly was a special thing. We both grew up on farms, and when his dad decided to retire and sell the family farm, we knew that this is where we wanted to raise our family. Around the same time our daughter was born. She was what his world revolved around, just over the moon to be a father. Josh and I would talk finances, you know, everything from saving money to, you know, how much life insurance he thought he would need. A month into dating, we actually decided to get life insurance policies. Josh did all the right things when it comes to setting his family up for success. Josh loved running. He ran on the treadmill six days a week. One day I was at work and we were texting back and forth and he stopped texting me back. He was supposed to be at a meeting that afternoon. I started getting messages from coworkers saying they hadn't heard from him. I messaged my friend that lived just a mile down the road and I said, can you just go check on him? And that was when she found him collapsed at the base of the treadmill and he had been gone for a few hours. I remember feeling very incomplete. There were things we hadn't talked about yet and I just needed one more conversation. This isn't what was meant to be for our children. They were supposed to have the best dad in the world. I can't imagine going through what Liz went through. She's one of the strongest people I've ever met. The day after the funeral, I found out I was pregnant. The life insurance that we had allowed me time to reset. It gave me time off of work after he passed away to grieve to heal, to focus on my new pregnancy. The summer before Josh passed away, we started a little hobby farm stand at the end of our driveway with my cut flower garden. She has turned what was a hobby for her and Josh into a fantastic business that someday she could pass on to her kids. It started out small, but the life insurance really has allowed Liz to help grow that business. We are doing really, really well. We don't move on, but we move forward. Because we had life insurance, we were able to continue living the life that we had worked so hard for. I love that my children know that this is where their dad grew up. I love that they feel that connection to him. I love sharing this happy place with others. People come out here all summer long, pick their own flowers, and they just get to spread some of that joy. My name is Liz Fiddler, and this is my story.